All right, welcome to this week. We are doing Data Explorer. So this is an awesome package for EDA or exploratory data analysis. So if you think about it, we spend the bulk of our time as data scientists working on wrangling data and getting it prepared. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're actually gonna make this awesome EDA report. And I'm gonna view it in a web browser real quick. So here's what the EDA report looks like that we're gonna be making today. And uh, basically what this does is, is really highlights how easy it is for Data Explorer to kind of chew through data. So it prints a nice report and we've got percentages and we've got things about our data. We can see how much discrete data we have. We can check out the data structure and I'll go through a lot of these plots here in a minute. Missing data, uh, univariate distributions of continuous variables, categorical features. We can see what the distributions are and so on. So we're gonna make this awesome report here in just a second. Um, okay, so to get started, what you need to do is you need to first sign up for the RTIPS Weekly because this is going to get you access to all of the code. So when you join uh, the RTIPS newsletter, the link is in the video notes, uh, you're gonna get access to all of this data um, and all of these uh, previous RTIPS that we've done. We're on the 25th RTIP here. So we've got EDA Data Explorer, so you're gonna uh, go in and uh, get this data. We've got a .r file that we're working out of and it's also got the report that we're going to generate here in a second. So open up this file and that's going to open up this. Uh, make sure you have the outline and you can follow along. All right, to get started, we need to load the Data Explorer library and the Tidyverse library. Uh, the data set that we're going to be using today is the GSS categorical data set. It comes from the forecasts package and basically what it is is a general survey of different demographic information um, that was just that's just surveyed every so often every four years or so so you can see we've got the year that the survey happened you've got uh, diff different um, people that were surveyed and kind of what bins they fall into and uh, everything from religion to TV how many hours of TV they watch per week so it's kind of just a, a interesting data set that's uh, demographic um, we're going to show you how to use Data Explorer on this package. It's got a lot of categorical features, which traditionally can give us um, some problems. And uh, this is how we would use the EDA uh, package on this, or the Data Explorer package. The first function I'm going to introduce you to is probably the most important function. It's called Create Report. And what this does is it'll create the HTML report for us. So you just run this line of code here. What it's doing is it's outputting in this directory here, uh, the profile, the data profile report. Um, I, I gave it a response variable because I want to know if there's anything um, in there that is related to the uh, level of income of these people that were surveyed and, uh, and, and so on. So this is what generates that report. It takes a, takes a few seconds to run and because um, it's got a, it'll give us like a 20 or 20 page or so report. Okay, once that's done, you get this report here that has the entire data set that's been analyzed. You've got different distributions. You've got correlation analysis. We can uh, mine for relationships. Um, we can mine for different information that's in our data set. So we're actually gonna go through and I'm gonna show you also how you can produce some of these uh, visualizations here. All right. So uh, the first thing that we can do is we can introduce the data. Um, and this is one of the first things that the package does in that report. So you can see when we uh, pipe our data into introduce, we're getting the number of rows, the number of columns, how many discrete columns, how many continuous columns, and so on. Uh, and this is really um, a good, a nice summary. So we can see total missing values, how many complete rows, how many total observations. Um, the next thing that we can do is we can actually plot the introduction with this plot intro function. It takes some of these features here and puts it into a plot and it makes it a little bit easier to understand. So in our report, we've got discrete columns. This is, uh, this would be like your categorical data. You have continuous columns. So this is your numeric data, uh, your number of all missing columns, your complete rows, 52% are completed. And then, um, 5.3% have missing observations. So it's a good summary. Uh, the next thing you might want to do is you might want to check out the missing values. So it's got profile missing and plot missing. Again, one is the plotting function. So this 
plots each of the, each of the different features and I can see age has a little bit of missing uh, but the big one is TV hours there's a lot of uh, people that were surveyed who left out the number of hours per week they watch of TV um, we can also get this with the profile missing in a different format it actually returns a data frame so it's a table nine by three same information the number of missing observations and the percentage of missing these are again very good to have when you're doing exploratory data analysis it's, it's uh, the number two thing that i look for um, then we can move on to continuous features they have the plot density function which is really cool um, we can plot any of the continuous features the density and we can see the age you know most people seem to be between we'll say 30 and 50 years old um, the, the TV hours watched per week um, seems to be right between zero and five hours and then you can see the year and it's got these different spikes for the distribution and that's because uh, there is a um, only on every so uh, many years I think four years or so is when they're they're being surveyed uh, so that's cool uh, we can do the same thing with the histogram it's just a different uh, visualization it's the same data though um, you can see how the data has been binned um, and again we can see there's a four-year gap here between the year and that's why we're getting that kind of funky graph with a distribution of the density um, the next thing we can do we can check out categorical features so we've got plot bar and this is really cool because think about how much time it would take to make all these bar plots so you get them all in one just foul swoop uh, with this plot bar function um, you can see you know most people seem to be married or not married some are divorced some are widowed some are separated but the bulk seem to be married uh, race predominantly white uh, income uh, either twenty five thousand or more or not applicable seems to be the two main categories um, the party id independent um, not uh, Democrat, strong Democrat, uh, not strong Republican, uh, some, and so on. Uh, religion, most seem to be Protestant and Catholic, and then also none, and then you've got several others. Um, denomination, not applicable, other, no denomination, Southern Baptist, and so on. So you've got lots of different information in there. Uh, next, you can plot, you can look for relationships. So you can check out uh, with this plot correlation function, it makes it super easy to make correlations um, so what we're doing is we're basically taking all of the categorical data and and so on and, and um, doing a, a correlation analysis now there's a lot of features here because each of these categories are getting dummied so you can see that um, especially if there's a lot of categories uh, you can get a pretty crazy looking plot um, so what you might want to do is if you hit the tab here and if you do max categories and just do something like five uh, what it'll do is it'll make it a lot easier to, to visualize so we can see here um, the big thing uh, looks like race white um, and race black there's a, a negative correlation there um, the uh, what what I'm normally interested in is if I do maybe 10 um, if we take a look at the uh, art underscore income uh, still looks like it's not showing in here might need to increase it to 15 in order to get that one um, let's see yeah it doesn't look like it's going to show up but anyways um, you can kind of adjust this max categories to um, increase or decrease the, the granularity of your uh, of your correlation plot um, and you can see some there's some relationships in here uh, which is pretty interesting okay uh, that's it if you want to learn more about data science for business uh, well, well beyond what's going on in this uh, what we talked about with EDA in this session definitely check out my uh, business analysis courses at uh, my company business science uh, I have an R for business analysis which is the 101 the basic course that teaches you all the 80 20 tools the most essential tools like the tidyverse um, and tidy models uh, it's an eight-week course. Definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more. All right, see you next time.